Hello everybody, man. Maxwell26 here with another reaction video, and it's that time of the month for Bruce Dude to tell us another story about his past life. And this one is called Bruce Dude Films Bad Neighbors. Let's be honest, we've all had bad neighbors. Those who are just jerks or something else. And believe me, I had those bad neighbors, and they are not... When there's bad neighbors, there's also good neighbors. So, I wonder if they got good neighbors. But we're probably going to hear about the bad ones. Also, why is Brewer holding a vacuum cleaner to defend himself? That is just silly. Well, I guess we'll find out. The link for this is in the description below. Without further ado, let's get this started. Three, two, one. Of you that don't know, me and my friend Brewer lived in the top floor of a duplex back when we were young, irresponsible adults. And during our four years stay there, haunted. we had two different neighbors that lived below us. Now the first guy was a dude named John, who was like this 45 year old stoner that lived by himself. And John was like the best downstairs neighbor that we could possibly have. Oh, they did so he tried to help neighbor. out and bring us food to eat, which was very important to us because Brewer and I just so happened to be broke as hell back then. We'd be sitting on the couch like, hmm. boy, I sure am hungry. Dude, do you have any money? Money? What the hell is money? And then John would just <laughs> pop in and he'd be like, Oh, hey guys, I was just making some corn dogs downstairs and, uh, well, I got super stoned and accidentally made the whole box. You guys want to eat fucking 14 corn dogs? Now, one time me and John were both in the basement doing our laundry at like 7 o'clock in the morning and out of nowhere, his ass was like, Hey dude, I got some leftover jello shots from Cinco de Mayo. You want to go eat a bunch and get super fucked up? Uh, John, don't you have to like go to work in an hour? <laughs> Yeah, I sure do. Anyways, they're lime green ones made with tequila. So there I am, getting plastered at 7 o'clock in the morning with a 45-year-old man in a Hawaiian shirt. An hour later, I'm passed out drunk on her couch. John's ass is at work as a fucking welder of all things. Hey, uh, John, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Why do you ask? <laughs> yeah, the guy was a legend, that's for sure. Well, needless to say, me and Brewer were pretty disappointed when John moved out one day and our new neighbor moved in. Now, this new neighbor was a guy named Tom. And Tom was no fucking John, that's for goddamn sure. I mean, for one, Tom did not associate with us whatsoever. He lived underneath us for months, and we didn't have a single conversation. He'd just sit on the porch and smoke cigarettes and shit. Me and Brewer would just watch him at a distance like, Well, what the fuck? When's this guy gonna start feeding us corn dogs? Yeah, or fucking jello shots. This guy sucks ass at being the downstairs neighbor. Well, it didn't take long for the uh, shit to hit the proverbial fan, if you will, between us and our new neighbor Tom. The first issue that we ran into was the fact that Tom worked early mornings every day. Now, Brewer and I had Obviously. shitty second shift jobs at the Circle K and the Pizza Hut. So that meant that while Tom was trying to get into <laughs> yeah, beauty sleep at night, me and Brewer would be upstairs doing dumb shit, being loud as fuck. Dude, you want to go shoot beer bottles with this BB gun and fucking listen to old Lip Biscuit songs? Oh, hell yeah, I do. <laughs> I did it all for the nookie. Come on. The nookie. Come on. Yeah, I don't know if you guys thought that Tom's ass was going to be the bad neighbor when you clicked on this video, but uh, no, me and Brewer were actually the asshole neighbors 100%. So needless to say, Tom <laughs> had a hard time sleeping with uh, all the happy horse shit that we were up to. Now you'd think that he would just, you know, ask us to keep it down or hell, even do the old broomstick against the ceiling thing. No, this mother fucker decides to call the cops that's what he decides to do oh, hey uh, we got an anonymous noise complaint from the other half of the house you guys are playing the nookie at way too many decibels now this kind of <laughs> offended me and brewer at first i mean hell if tom would have just came to us personally we would have toned it down for sure we didn't need the fucking 5-0 to come here and yell at us like they're our dad and shit so after a few days we went right back to doing stupid shit and being loud as hell hey you want to fucking fight each other with vacuum cleaners oh hell yeah you're on <laughs> Of course, Tom called the mind. cops on us again. In fact, his ass probably called the cops probably a half a dozen times. But the cops would never really do anything. They'd just show up and be like, Hey, uh, we got a noise complaint? Yeah, 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 we'll keep it down, all right? Now leave us alone. We're trying to fucking race these baboons on pogo sticks, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, the cops just stopped coming over altogether. I don't know if it was Tom that gave up or if the cops were just like, Look, they're just loud assholes, all right? We can't just shoot them in the face, Tom, no matter how loud they are. Well, eventually, Tom would <laughs> seek out some revenge of his own when he started to bring over a little lady friend of his. Now, what the way the, the duplex was laid out, Tom's bedroom just so happened to be directly underneath my bedroom. Now, some of you watching this might already know where I'm going with this. Aw, did you fucking hear them have loud, nasty sex late at night? You did, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I fucking <laughs> did. You see, late one night, 
in the wee early morning hours, I wake up to some very unsettling noises. I don't oh, know what God. kind of weird tantric shit was what going the? on downstairs, but it was loud and it was violent. That shit sounded like fucking two dogs fighting underneath a table and shit. It was crazy as hell. And to make matters worse, Tom was clearly the more vocal of the two. He just kept going, ha, ah, 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 ha, 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 ha. So what did I decide to do about this unfortunate situation? Well, I sure as hell didn't call up the cops and be like, Hey, my prick of a neighbor is having loud relations and above the neighborhood noise ordinance. Send lots of backup. No, oh, no I did not I do that. that. Instead, movie my double standard movies. have an ass goes over to the vent in my room, and I yell something along the lines of, Hey, fucking quit it! Knock it off! I gotta work four hours at the pizza tomorrow, goddammit! Stop it! Now, I don't know if they didn't hear me or if they just didn't care, but that did not stop whatever the fuck they were doing down there. So my ass had to oh, sleep on the couch hear. that night, traumatized as hell. Not to mention this happened for like a week straight, and every time I would get up and I would yell shit down the vent. Well, sometimes I would just fuck with them instead. I wouldn't even yell. I'd just be like, Thomas, is that you? It's me, your mother. I don't really appreciate what you're doing down there, booby. But it didn't matter. They never stopped or responded or anything like that. And I had to keep my ass out on the couch because, well, I was definitely not trying to hear that shit, that's for sure. Now, keep in mind that at this you. point, we still have not had any direct confrontation with Tom. Not a single conversation or a, hey, howdy do, I heard you fucking last night. Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, all that would change with what I like to call the dryer incident. And the dryer incident happened when one night at 3 o'clock in the morning, I decided to put my shoes in the dryer. I don't remember why my shoes were sopping wet in the first place or why I had to have them dried at that precise moment, but I indeed put shoes in the goddamn dryer at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, if you've never put shoes in the dryer before by themselves, well, it sounds a lot like this. Boom, 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 boom. Well, this obviously wakes Tom's ass up, and apparently this was it. This was the final straw. Tom marches his ass upstairs, pissed off as hell. I open the door, and what I see it. is the angriest bald man I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. Tom standing man. there smoking a cigarette, and he's like, Are those fucking shoes in the goddamn dryer? And my first reaction was like, Holy hell, Tom, that is shoes in the dryer. How the hell did you guess that? This is like a fucking weird game show of some sort. And welcome back to another episode of... What's in the dryer? Tom for the grand prize, what do you hear? Clankety clank, 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 clank. Uh, it's a fucking TV remote and a bag of nickels. <laughs> Anyways, Tom asked me if those are indeed shoes in the goddamn dryer, and I decide to hold my ground, even though, you know, I'm 100% wrong in this situation. Well, yeah, Tom, as a matter of fact, those are shoes in the goddamn dryer. It's straight in the morning, why the fuck did you put shoes in the dryer? Well, to get them dry, you dense son of a bitch. Why else would I fucking put them in there? So now we're going back and forth over who's the bigger asshole here. And it's me, clearly. But that's when I take a sharp <laughs> left turn and bring up an entirely different topic. Yeah, well, I don't appreciate hearing you and your girlfriend's fucking sexual escapades that night. How about that? Wait, what? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I can hear you fucking, Tom. That's what. Ha! Ha! Ha 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 ha! Sound familiar, you fucking piece of shit? Yeah, that's right. I had to, uh... Pull a page out of Forrest Gump. I had to imitate his ass fucking. It wasn't my proudest moment, but, uh, well, it was pretty effective because Tom's ass was completely flustered. Uh, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Keep the damn shoes out of the dryer. You guys are assholes. And that was the first and last conversation that I had with our neighbor Tom. Me and Brewer moved out shortly afterwards, and Tom was free points. to do whatever crazy ass shit he wanted without having to worry about any prying ears. So Tom, on the off chance that you're watching this shitty little cartoon, I just want to apologize for being such a shitty upstairs neighbor. I know we should have been quiet and should have let you sleep, and, uh, you know, instead of yelling down the vent, I should have, I don't know, fucking whispered words of encouragement. Way to go, Tom! You can do it! <laughs> just know that you did traumatize my ass quite a bit in return, and every time I hear two fucking dogs fighting underneath the table, I can't help but think of your bald ass. The end. Oh, God. BruceDude.com You're a cop now, apparently. All right, that was Bruce Two Films, Bad Neighbor. I guess Bruce Two, I guess, I can't speak. I guess he was a bad neighbor. But like I said, we've all got bad neighbors, and you never know which is going to just make you explode of anger. And believe me, I've had bad neighbors, and...
I'm not one of those people who would be like calling the cops and all, telling them to stop and all, but I'm too nice. I'm too much of a nice guy. But yeah, that's just, it's just why with his neighbor Tom and all. Would have been nice if John had stayed a little while longer, but nope. But at least they had a good neighbor, though. Anyways, go ahead and subscribe to Bruce Sue Films for all of it, more of his crazy, crappy animation stories that are really good and really funny. And don't forget to follow him on his social medias right there that you see. The link for this video is in the, is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, prove it by hitting that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Follow me on TikTok at MadMaxwell26. And if you have a request, let me know in the comments below. With that being said, I am MadMaxwell26, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.